Hi, happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Um, I meant to come live earlier. I keep looking over there. I meant to come live earlier, but I needed to take a nap. Um, I got my hair done today and, uh, and my nails. Uh, getting ready for the uh, Korite holiday here, uh, the end of um, fasting. I keep looking over there. <laughs> the end of fasting. Well, somebody's there, I think. I don't know how to look at these comments. Again, let me remember. Or maybe I'll do it on my other phone. It's my first time doing it on this phone. Hi, Angel. <laughs> and MK today. I know MK today. Hey, what's going on? Let me see on my phone if I can see your comments better on here. If that works. I wonder, can I? That girl, Joe. Hi. So I can see the comments while I'm doing this. I'm just hanging out. Ooh, I have the time. Oh, excuse me. I've been um, hosting my Play Brother, so it's been busy, busy, busy. So I said, as soon as I get a chance to. I was going to do a live when he was here, but... We've been running around. He just left the other day. Oh, it's like eight people. Okay, let me see if I can. Happy Mother's Day to those of you in the States or celebrating. You see my, let me see if I can. Can I turn this camera around? Yes, I can. See, see my puppies. They were, um, there you go. LA was sick for like a good three weeks. She was moody. And we couldn't figure out what it was, if it was just emotional or what, but we figured it out. So now she's much better. Let me see if I can turn this back around. Okay, there I am. Yeah, so she's doing a lot better. She didn't want to play with Callie at all. Now they're finally playing together again. And we couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. She was still eating and stuff, so we couldn't figure it out. But uh, turns out she might have eaten something. If you look over here, is where the security guard burns the trash right there so we put the playpen the the dog pen around it so that um they can't access it because sometimes there's stuff in there that you know you don't want dogs eating and they play with the trash and so we had to figure that out that's kind of how african life goes let me see if i could uh oh this is my homeboy calling me i'm gonna answer it's, uh, it's my play brother. Oh, wait. Did he hang up? Let me see. Oh, mine's on the Bluetooth. Let me see. Hi, everybody. I don't know why I can't see your stuff. Oh, now he wants to call me video. You know, I'm, I'm, live, I'm live on the tube. You say hi. Hey, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all miss me, but uh, I'm doing me. I'm doing at the airport <laughs> on my flight thing. Yeah. Just came from Portugal, and I'm tired. My legs are burning. Now, Angel said, Angel said, like hey, bro. Angel said, hey, bro. Hey, Angelica. <laughs> the angelic one. This way, this way. There you go. How are you? Sabah, Negadev. Negadev, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here, not doing much. So you met somebody from Senegal on your flight? No, I just got finished talking to her. Oh. So, are you still alive? I am. Oh, okay. No, so... I was talking to her and she was like, hey, hi, how you doing? I was like, cool. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, uh, so I was like, where are you from? She was like, oh, I'm coming from LA. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then, um, uh, then I was like, yeah, you know, my friends, you know, they actually just moved from LA. And then we just started talking. And I said, so we just started talking. And I said, they live in so long. We were talking about all that. Mm -hmm. By their stuff. And I was like, I said, like, we're, you going? She was like, I'm talking with my friend. You know, mm. he's from San Luis. She was like, Oh, I'm from San Luis. Mm -hmm. And um, and then she was that's when she was asking me when we were talking about land. And I was like, Yeah, you know, she was like, Well, what part of these? She was like, Would you text me? She was like, I'm from that part. Oh. And, um, and then she was like, and I was like, Um, 
then I think you ask, when you asked what's the last name, I asked what's her last name. She said Jill. Mm. And I started laughing. I said, <laughs> I said that's what they say. He's named after. Yeah, you know, he's but, named after a joke. Jill. But, but she was like, it's not too far from you. And then she was like, wait, let me see. Like, I met somebody. I think I might know them. And he's married to an American woman. Really? <laughs> I said, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And she because she... She mentioned a Mustafa the Taylor. Mustafa the Taylor. Yes. Oh my. Wait a minute. Yes. Mustafa. So she said. She said she. I think met him through a long time ago through uh, Mustafa. She was like one time they um like I guess. I don't oh. Know, wow. not she was in Santa Clarita, so she was like. So I showed her the picture. She was like, yeah, that's him. She was like, yeah, I have met him before. And I was like, wow, it's really, really is small. Yeah, Senegal, LA, LA Senegal community, I guess. Yeah, through Mustafa. Everybody knows Mustafa the Taylor. And then, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, so she's going to be out there for three months. But I told her, I, was, I said, I'll just send her. I was mm-hmm. going to just connect y'all. Yeah. And then, uh, and then from there, her name is Ami Kadan. Ami. So. Ami. Aminata? A M Y A A D R. Okay. Uh, Amy Kadai. Okay. Kader. Amy Kader. <laughs> okay. That's her first. Uh, Joke. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So, I, I thought that was just kind of <laughs> like, so I was like, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I'll copy him. Mm-hmm. She's the American girl. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the American girl. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let me, let me talk to the lady. I'm going to pray right back. Okay. Uh, I got some different about it. All right. Have a safe trip. In Portugal, Cuba. I want to see the pictures. All right. All right. Bye. Sorry, guys. That was my bro. He's traveling right now. He just left us last night. And he landed in Portugal this morning and he had a long layover and uh, and he met somebody that actually knows my husband's family. So it was like a big coincidence. Sava, Sava bien, Mustafa Fay. Ciao. Are you in Italy, Mustafa Fay? Let me see. Hold on, I'm gonna try to see if I can see the comments better. Happy Mother, thank you. Thank you, humble Gambian. No def. Who's that? Lamin. How are you doing? Okay, wait, let me see. Can I watch my video from my other phone? Okay, let's see how it goes. I wonder if that would be interfering. Oh, maybe not. I guess so, it works. Okay, now I can see your comments better because the way this is showing it, I don't see if people are saying anything. But I'm just here um, in my yard with my two puppies. Uh hanging out. Um, I don't know if you guys want to talk about anything. I can talk about I'm pretty much free. Nothing to do. Happy Monday. Philadelphia. Oh wait, did you say Monday? Or Mother's Day? Oh, Monday. Oh, okay. Is it Monday where you are? I don't think so. Unless I got my days wrong. I could be wrong. It's hard to keep track of, of the days of the week when you're not working. Yeah, but um, what's been going on? So yeah, uh, oh, the door is open over there. So Brian left last night. He was here for three weeks, which was great. Um, it was fun. And my first, my first visitor since we moved. Um, he came before when we were on vacation one time. He came for uh, for uh, five days. That was his first trip. So he came back, and um, and he's supposed to come back this year. So he's looking to spread himself out. I think even uh, he wants to do some stuff in Gambia, too. So uh, he's excited. Um, oh, you took my shoe. Hey, both of y'all took my shoes. Oh, my gosh. Those are Aldo shoes. Like, for real. L.A. No. Give me one second. Look at, look at her. She's messing with my shoe. Hey, that's not funny. That's not funny. Okay. Let me see. 
What is this? Did I do that? Watching from Spain. Cherno Cise, ¿cómo estás? Hold on, let me get my shoe for my dog. Hold on. These are my these are my good sandals from Aldo. That's my favorite shoe store. And they have one here in Dakar. And all, all of you are doing a great job in Africa changing the narratives. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just living one day at a time. You guys can't take my shoes, like for real. Or my water bottle. Come on, can you guys let me do my live thing? You know? You know? Yeah. I used to have them uh, in crates because they were digging up the yard and uh, messing up the plants here. And this is not my property. Put my shoes up here. And so I had to... Uh, Wait until they outgrew that face. Now they're biting on me. On my dress. Oh, you're just happy to have your little friend back. Anyway, so. This is me. Muy bien, hermana. Como va la vida en Senegal? Senegal, no. Everything's good. Um, I was watching a video today. My sister, uh, apparently Angel in Gambia and she said something that really resonated with me um, in her video, her, her latest video. And she was like, I don't feel like a visitor anymore. And I didn't know how long it would take me to, um, hold on, to feel like that. But I'm actually feeling less and less like a visitor um now that we're kind of settling in the area where we're gonna permanently you know be pretty much so i've been finding my way going to the market my husband has taken me taught me you know how the prices go and how not to ask the prices just act like you know the price already so you know um the area like senegal has different cultures in different regions and so because it's big so um you know it's kind of like if i had to guess i'm not really good at gauging distances and miles and populations and stuff but i would say maybe california arizona uh new mexico oregon like uh maybe size wise i don't know but at least like big enough to have different cultures and different um, ways of doing things and ways of talking. So like if you're from South LA, you talk different if you're from Oakland or you do things a little different, you might dress a little different, depends, you know, like some people might have natural hair, some people might have weeds. Or so the little things like that um, in the traveling that we've done, I haven't been to the South of Senegal yet, that's next, um, but, but I've been to the east, I've been to the north, I've been to, uh, uh, I don't know what this region is called, I guess kind of in the middle, <laughs> but um, but yeah, so like, it's just different. So like the area where we are now, for me, is a perfect combination of what I would assume is like traditional and modern, I guess. So I kind of feel like I get the best of everything because I fit in more. Um, there's uh, enough Western stuff where I can kind of ease my way into, you know, the transition of, of um, you know, becoming, I guess, a citizen of Senegal, I guess, if you have to say, what are you guys doing? Ow. Now they're playing again. Mm -hmm. Te he visto en Gambian con Mr. Mosley con Angel. Gracias. Yes, I was uh, I was in Gambia. I took my um, my friend Brian to Gambia 
uh, for just a quick turnaround two day trip and uh, he loved it. Biloxi, Miss, is it Biloxi, Missouri? Is that Missouri? I don't know. I was forgetting about American stuff while I'm here. But hi, um, Risa, Risa Rich from Biloxi. Nice to um, make your acquaintance. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm starting. To, anyway, back to what apparently Angel was saying. So I'm starting to feel a lot better. Um, not as they're trying to play play fight over here. It's so cute. But anyway, uh, not as um, much of a foreigner. And at least I think because where I am, there's always people from different places, people from Spain, Germany, or, you know, America, Canada. So we see a lot of different kinds of people. So I feel like people don't look at me as I'm so weird because they've seen different kinds of people before. So, um, so I kind of blend in a little more, which I like. And, you know, my neighbors, people say hi to me, which is great. People remember my name, which is cool. I mean, it may be just because for business or tourism type stuff, like, you know, how when you're on vacation or at a resort, like they try to be real friendly for those reasons. It doesn't really matter to me. It still feels good. <laughs> so, um, cause this is a semi, what's a tour zone? Um, about, I'm about 10 minutes from where the, where it's heavy tourism usually uh not as much now of course but you know so i feel good about that um hmm, what else let me see if anybody's saying anything yeah i'm pretty much open if you guys want to talk about something you can tell me what you want to talk about let me see what did somebody say what part of Senegal are you? Um, oh, go! Is this go black to Africa? Hey, how are you? Um, I am in uh, Samoan Senegal. It's um, in the Sally area, so it's about hour fifteen, hour twenty minutes from Dakar, uh, uh, south of Dakar. So I'm closer to. Gambia than Dakar, right? Yes, I'm closer to Gambia than Dakar. Dakar is like an hour or something north. And uh, it's really nice. It's on the water. I can walk to the beach in four, four minutes. Um, oh, Brian's calling me back. Let's see. Hi. You want to say hi to the people again? Oh, uh, why can't he? Oh, wait, hold on. Now you can do it. Yeah, I had to uh, talk to lady. I had to ah. document my attestation. Oh, uh, the paper that you said you got? Yeah, but they did, um, they did have some. Um, if I didn't have my, because you know, last time I ate, never had a well, she was in COVID, but. Mm. When you get the back to side. the states, so so you're about to get on your flight in Portugal, and they yeah, Portugal. and they ask you for the paper okay. before you even yeah. go back to the states. Okay, I hadn't heard about that, but the only person I knew to fly back, I hadn't heard. She didn't tell me how her her trip was. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think she, it was an American one. She she was supposed to be Fran Air France Air France, but then she uh missed that flight and they put her on an American. I want to say American Airlines, but it could have been any one. Mm. That's interesting. Well, that's good to know before if I ever fly back. I don't know if that will happen, but we'll see. Mm. I guess I guess it, 
They do give it to you. That's what I figured. Usually airport paperwork, they give it to you there. Like if you have to fill it out. Sometimes I know I'll be on the plane and half sleep and they give you some paper to fill out. But, yeah. Or when you get there, they give it to you. Yeah, normally they do, you know, just when I was reading stuff online, I was like, yeah, uh, make sure you have it. Mm-hmm. Make sure you bring it up. Uh, bring it to the airport upon arrival. So that's why I was just kind of like, all right, just be on the safe side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely, because these are different yeah. different times, of course. And they collect Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, no, nah, um, pretty much, it's a big difference when you... You're actually doing something for 12 hours versus that time went by really quick. Mm-hmm. Versus you just sitting at the airport for 12 hours. Okay. <laughs> that 12 hours, because my time, I feel like it went by really quick. It rained when I first got out here. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, shit. I said, it would, I said it would rain. Mm-hmm. You know, the, mm-hmm. I, I may be actually able to get out. Mm-hmm. But then the rain made me like an hour or to about 9 o'clock. You know, I went and got some breakfast at the mall and then that's what I did. I just, I bought like the day pass with like six euros and I was just wow. I train over everywhere. That's nice. So, and you didn't get lost. You're braver than me. So you got to go to three countries well, you know, in one trip. It's really, it's really small. Mm. It's really small and easy. It's a lot easier than, to get around in France because it's going to be like four, four lines. Okay. And everything is around a lot of water, right? Uh, is it easy? To is it easy to read Portuguese, like on the train? Yeah. Yes and no. I mean, because some stuff, even though it's like spelled differently or mm-hmm. maybe a little off, it's still kind of close to Spanish. So that's true. You can put two and two together. You know, now when you hear it, you can hear certain things, but there's certain things that throw you off, like you know, kind of how French will. Mm-hmm. But um. But yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty easy to read. Okay. Um, what time is your flight? You know, can, I, can I call you later? So they delayed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They delayed it about, 70, about 30 minutes. So it's oh, okay. Though, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I did send that. I, sent, I, sent I saw you sent me the lady. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Talk to you. Bye. Sorry. That was my bro calling me back. He met somebody from Senegal that knows me. No, from LA that's Senegalese that knows me and my husband from something. So he was giving he met them in the airport in Portugal. Okay, I know where you are, pretty nice place there. Okay. A lot of different yes, there there's a lot of different foreigners that live here, which um for me is nice. Uh, just because, um, just because I have access to a lot more things, uh, if I need to go to the grocery store for like a couple of things, I want to start, you know, eating more from the market, of course, which I do, but at the same time, sometimes there's things that I miss or that I know how to make and I just need to go to the grocery store. So things like that, it does make it a lot easier than, um, in other parts of the country that I've been to. And, um, I don't know, I guess, cause the, the 12 years that I've been coming here, you know, initially I thought just because my skin was brown that I should fit in. Hey, Callie, my dogs got out. Oh shoot. Let me close this door. What are you guys doing outside? Hey, come here. Look at these girls. What are y'all doing? Mm Mhm. You can't go outside. Hold on, let me go close this gate right here. Get this out. Okay, there we go. But um, other places I've been is it definitely is hard to fit in, and I'm at the point in my life where I mean I'm sure over. Over time, I will, uh, you know, evolve into a different person or learn things from my environment. It's only natural. But my experiences and where I grew up and the different places I've been have dictated 
who I've become. And so, you know, being around people who may may not have those experiences, life experiences and exposure that I have, I'm going to be different. So it's a lot easier for me. I don't know if other people, other repats feel this way, but it's a lot easier for me to be different um, here where there's other different people uh, and, and where people are, where local people are used to seeing different and, you know, you don't get the stares like, you know, oh my gosh, you know, but, um, so it feels better for me. I feel more welcome. Um, yang yang. The my yang wall of two direct. Ketika, I'm trying. You know, I know a lot more than I did before, but yeah, I, I, I can understand a lot more than what I can say because I get stuck and I'm like, okay, I don't know what to say, but I kind of mix it with my French. So I can get by, I can get by Newton. Oh, I remember your name, Newton. I think I remember you from a comment before, but yeah. I don't know if um, if go back to Africa is still there. Um, are you still on the continent? Oh, hello, Let's see. West Coast, 1980. Are you from the West Coast? Hi. But um, yeah. Oh, you're in Tanzania. Okay. Okay, nice. Have you been there long? I The last time I saw a video, I know you were in Ghana and you left Ghana to go somewhere else. I can't remember, but was that Tanzania? Have you been in Tanzania for a while? I know somebody here who um, moved from Tanzania. I think they were in Dar es Salaam and then it didn't vibe well with her and uh, her family. so. She came here after. Mm. I know Zanzibar is beautiful. I think I would like to go to Zanzibar. I saw what am I went to Zanzibar and I saw, I think Tanzania and Kenya are bordering countries. I wanna do both of those. Since Ghana being Rwanda. Yes, Rwanda, that's what I remember. Rwanda, Kenya, Tanzania, Dubai, Ethiopia. Wow. Okay. So you're doing the whole, the whole gamut. That's wonderful. I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to catch up on your videos and see. Those sound lovely. Oh. Yeah, Kenya. I have um, friends there. Um, the Jobsons. The Jobsons are from the UK. And they just moved to Kenya, um, a Jamaican and Kenyan uh, family. Jed Jeff Wall of Yom. Jed Jeff Why? Let me see. Since Ghana. Oh, I read that one already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying. Newton. How did you get the name Newton? Is that is that your surname? Hmm. I have my two counties down to, oh, countries down to Ghana and Senegal to your Patrick. Okay, okay. Ghana was uh, Ghana was on my list. Well, not on my list. I didn't have a list, but in my mind, I, I always wanted to go to Ghana. Um, I don't know. I just felt like maybe I felt like it was enough African Americans there for that kind of navigated stuff so that when I got there, it would be an easier transition. But, I mean, I couldn't have made a better decision for my family um, coming here. Uh, obviously, my husband's from here. He's not from this town or this region, but it makes a whole lot of a difference. And, um, you know, I talked to other repats and people living here from, from the West and, uh, you know, there's a lot of challenges that you go through not knowing things and assuming. There's a lot of things that we assume 
like this, the way the system works for certain things that we assume that we don't know we're assuming we're just going by what we know and um because of those things um i don't want to say we get taken advantage of because i don't like that term i just think that you know we pay the price for for not knowing and uh so coming here and my husband being from here i mean it was a no-brainer because i'm like it probably saved me going through a lot of stuff that you know that I would have otherwise, but, um, you know, but, uh, the good thing was that we came to visit every other year and I found a place that actually, that I actually like, like people, you know, live pretty decent. I want to say that people live kind of a vacation lifestyle in this area and, you know, whether they have a big house or a small house or luxuries or a pool or not like it's very um common to see people uh, local people surfing or they have dogs walking their dogs for pets and, you know stuff like that and actually um doing more what we would consider westernized things um, in other regions here you know people might consider those things to be too long activities so it's kind of not really uh, accept it until more people do it, then it's like, okay, it's okay now. Oh, Isaac Newton, okay. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, it threw me off the when you were speaking Wolof, and I'm like, Newton, okay. Okay, got it. That's great. Look, you have a passion for science, that's awesome. I have my two countries, I read that already. Cool. Okay, it's like 31 people here, so somebody's not saying anything. <clears throat> but yeah, if you guys have any questions, now's the time. Because I don't know when I'll be back on here. <laughs> oh, I forgot to listen to this person's message. I'll do that after I finish. Nice to meet you. All right. So, anyway, if you're just now tuning in, I was just messaging somebody. Uh, my uh, one of my best friends was just here, and he for a couple of weeks, and he left. Um, he calls himself Afro Millennial. <laughs> he just left um last night, so he's uh, about to catch his connection flight in Portugal, and he met someone who was from Los Angeles, who is Senegalese who met me and my husband before and actually lives close to where my, uh, in the same neighborhood or is from where my mother-in-law lives now. And so it was like a whole little like connection thing. So he just messaged me. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. Small, small world. So anyway, so yeah, this lady's on her way here. And um, I think she's gonna be here for some months. So it'd be nice. It's nice to connect with people from LA. There was another um, uh, Senegalese lady that we knew from LA that came here and we got to hang out with her. So that was cool too. Um, so it's a nice, um, I feel like that's a nice mix of both worlds. You, when you have, um, if I did make local friends, which, you know, sometimes people are like, that's not a good idea, but. Um, it would be people who have been abroad or, or travel and stuff, so that way I don't come off too weird to them, <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah. So what else is going on? Is anybody moving anywhere or visiting anywhere soon? I know somebody said they they're have Senegal and Ghana on their list. Um, oh! The African superstar is in the building. What's going on, fam? That's my hero right there. You're moving to my... <laughs> oh, don't look at this. This is not my house. My house is over there. But yes, you're moving to my house. When it's done, you, you can have the um, the guest, the best VIP guest bedroom. So, With a view to the pool, because I know you like pools. <laughs> yeah, I think I decided to have 
multiple housewarmings instead of one big party because I don't like to cook for a whole bunch of people. It's too much pressure and I won't have fun if it's too many people because I won't be able to talk to everybody. So I think I'm going to have people over and every time somebody comes for the first time, have a party. <laughs> that works. All those fancy houses. <laughs> yes. What's good? The good and bad about Senegal. Oh, that's a good question. Now we talking. Let's see. Let's see what they say. Um, what's the good and bad about Senegal? Mm, it depends on your perspective where you're from, you know. Um, I think that people that are from here will think the good and bad is something else. And people who are not from here, it's uh, kind of the reverse because people uh, tend to um, not value what they have because it's just normal. Like I'm looking, like I have a mango tree right here. I'm looking at a mango tree right there. And there's a Wanawana carousel, what else do people call it? Soursop tree right here. And the coconut tree right here. And I'm just like, this is dope. But someone from here might be like, what's the big deal? You know, it's a mango. there's mangoes everywhere. They just fall from the sky. So, I mean, some people might think that the getting pulled over by the cops, you know, at the traffic stops is annoying. It takes time. The, I guess from where we come from, we would call it bribes. I like to put a positive spin on it and call it tips because the police don't get paid much. So they ask for tips. Some of them have nice ways of doing it. Some of them have bully ways of doing it. But all in all, they don't have guns. So you're not going to die. Um, initially, it's kind of scary getting stopped by cops, especially in French. Um, so I didn't drive for a while past a certain point because I knew where they were. But um, then I did. I was by myself at night. And... We started talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger because he saw my California driver's license and he was like, is he still the governor? So, I mean, different things people think is bad. So, like, people from here might say the corruption. I'm from a place that's corrupt and I don't really, you know, I, I, I don't see that as a big deal because uh, sometimes it doesn't really affect your day-to-day -day life. You're not consumed by it living here. Um... Let's see, good and bad. The good is that compared to where I'm from in Los Angeles, here people can walk places. Um, in Los Angeles, where I live, it looks nice in the daytime, and at nighttime, there's helicopters and gunshots and drug deals and different stuff going on that can put you in danger, prostitution and stuff. All that stuff exists here maybe, but, well, not the gunshots, but the other stuff. Um, so all that stuff exists here, but it's not, I don't feel in danger. I can walk outside in my neighborhood at 12 o'clock at night from the restaurant or whatever. Nothing will happen to me. So I think, I think um, everything that, that is in the West, you can find here. There are women who cheat on their husbands, men who beat their wives, whatever, things like that. It's normal. Like, I think even myself, I'm guilty of kind of utopia, kind of, um, what is the word? Kind of like fantasizing about everything being so great because what happens, you go on vacation and then you go back to work and you're like, oh, I wish. Why are you barking at the baby? Hey, oh, you're excited to see her. Oh, that's your dog right there. You want to come in the camera? Oh. Don't let her jump on you. I told you. Tell her to get down. Oh, she was scratching her back, giving you a massage. Can you tell her to get down? Because when she gets big, she's gonna keep jumping. Come here. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to the to the village? Yeah, yeah. She's sitting. Oh, come here. Auntie wants to see you. Let me say hi. She got her hair done today, and she was crying oh so much. Ugh. Say hello. Hi. What's um something good about Senegal? Can you tell them? My cousins. Your cousins and? And my... And, 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 and my grandma. Mm-hmm. 
and chagri. <laughs> she loves to eat chagri. It's like a yogurt mixed with this couscous snack. But um, anything else good, good and bad. I mean, I like that they have moringa and they just sell it in the market for cheap. Like all the stuff that they sell at Trader Joe's for like twelve dollars, you can get here for for one buck and or two dollars. And I like the that it's stuff that's readily available. Can you take the dogs over there? Cause now they're looking all. Oh, everybody say you're so cute. Say thank you. Thank you. You wanna um, you wanna teach them some French stuff? Uh huh. Go ahead. Oh, okay, mom. What? This is another really positive thing, and I'll I'll finish that thought in a minute. You gonna do your thing? Yeah. Oh, for Mother's Day, you did a poem for me. That's so sweet. So that's one of the benefits. Go play with the dogs. Take them over there, please. Go take them over there. Hey! <laughs> See, she's all under my dress now. Can she speak Wolof? Can you speak Wolof, Mama? Yes, she can. Um, but she's playing with the dogs right now. Um, Dangajang Wolof. She can't hear me. She's playing with the dogs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you speak Wolof? Yeah. How do you say, I'm hungry? How do you say I'm sleepy? How do you say I want that one? How do you say move? How do you say uh let's see, let's see. How do you say where's my mommy? I'm so say it louder. How do you say, where's my, where's my, I don't know. Tablet. Yeah, where's my tablet? I want some tablet. Say, say, I want to watch TV, please. Si te ple. Mm-hmm. So... There she go. They say your Wolof is so good. You gotta keep teaching me, okay? <laughs> yeah, bach na halebi. Yeah, Wolof bu bacha bach. Mm-hmm. That's like the major benefit for me. Anytime I feel like there's some challenges that I'm like, ugh, I wish I could just go to the store and do stuff by myself without asking for help and whatever. But her, she loves it. And it's like, look at her. Like, she's super free yo like yes yeah, she's straight flex she be flexing on them all the time and she hasn't forgotten her english she hasn't forgotten even her spanish she has uh she's learning french and wolof at the same time and she's not even she's not even blinking like she's just like okay whatever so i think we came at the perfect her you know the perfect age you know and uh you know, I wouldn't have been able to afford to have two puppies, you know, new puppies in L.A. Like, unless I got lucky and knew somebody. Yes, happy black child. Exactly. She's just flourishing. And, um, and it's like, she likes mangoes. She eats mangoes all the time. She... She she's eating healthier, so she's not. I don't have to worry about her being addicted to certain stuff or being, you know, an obese obese ten year old or whatever. Um, and I just feel. I mean, no place has ev absolutely everything that you want, but this is pretty close. Um, you know, aside, the only thing really missing is um, is my family, and hopefully. 
that will change. Um, I feel like if they come visit, if someone come visit every year, every six months, somebody's coming, she'll get enough dosage of, of my culture, you know, the parts of it that are beneficial and healthy, and, you know. And we can still keep that going and not, you know, not really miss out on anything. Another baby. That is the question. I've been asked that like three times this week. I keep changing my mind back and forth. I want to get settled first. Um, you know, I think looking at the time clock, you know, I can't believe I'm the age that I am. You know, I don't feel like I am, but biologically I am. So I'm like, okay, I got to hurry up. Even though people will be having kids like 45 over here. But like one day I'm like, yes. And the next day I'm like, no, I won't be able to party. <laughs> oh, I think it's mosquito time. Let me put this jacket on. Yeah, everybody says to have one more. But it's like so life altering, you know? I thought it would be easy. I thought it was going to be like Erica Badu and just, you know, have them be like a doula and birth them myself and all that. But I was really sick when I was pregnant with her. And even um, my last pregnancy before we came, I was sick until until um, I lost it. But I just have to really calculate. I'm hoping that I can get healthier first. Um, you know, if I can get healthier and um, yeah, I, I hope that I can get healthier, get my blood pressure down, lose some weight so that will help me get my blood pressure down and then and then do that. So maybe okay. maybe next year, cause it's um it's definitely something. Like I want to enjoy this first year of living here, get my house together and stuff. Because I'll be, I'll be. I mean, I'm not like can you hold these, these mom? pregnant people walking around mom, like with baskets on their head. Like for me, at least that mom, wasn't my experience. I was, these? I was out. Like I was in the bed. So you know, I mean, everybody's different. Some people they have to be like. What is it? Um, Bedridden for their pregnancy, like five, six months at a time. Like it could be different stuff. So I just maybe I'm too much in my head, but I think about those types of things, you know. So, so check with me. Check with me in a year. Yeah, don't come. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, do they have a lot of Jamaican and American food? No. There is American food. There is a person who cooks Jamaican food. I believe they're Jamaican. I'm, they may not be, but there are people who cook. Like, you know how you have your auntie that cooks and sells, sells stuff um, or like those dinners and stuff. So they have stuff like that. I don't really need Jamaican food per se. I know they have some in Gambia, um, a lot more, but um, like they have um, a lot of foods that are how do you say that I guess maybe Jamaican food derived from that are here and they just have different names so like the meat patties they have those fish patties and it's just different names so I don't really miss Jamaican food I know how to make half the stuff that I eat but Mexican food is like my thing I really was left out finding a Jamaican I mean a Mexican spot like that was my big thing I don't hold out hope <laughs> wait let me stop shaking the thing that's not funny. I love, I love you too. I love you too. Say I love you, Auntie Gina. I love. Say I love you, Auntie Gina. I love you, Auntie Gina. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Can you get my water bottle off the floor? Wall off may disappear because we use many French. Words. Yes, that is true. Um, I know, I heard that they're starting to teach, they're going to start teaching Wolof in school though. So hopefully that will, um, that will, uh, keep promoting, um, good Wolof, um, good Wolof. Y'all know what I mean to say. That will promote it and keep it strong. Um, I'm going back to read some comments. Have another baby. Okay. She speaks really good. Fully neck me. Fully neck me. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know the sound of it, but I can't. I can't. That's Dexin B. Fornic. Is that Fornic? Fornic me? Where are we? I never heard the Fornic part. Maybe that's different. Her hair on the food. 
Yeah, um, uh, mang mangi someone. Oh, no. Not the joke. When you get it done. Uh, I think, I hope I answered that right. Don't compromise your health. No, Senegal loves Wolof more, much more than French. That's true. Senegal does love Wolof more than French. Like, if you're speaking French, you get, like, you get the treatment like this. But if you speak Wolof, they bring you, they bring you in. So Wolof still has more value. Like, even, even the lighter skin to Bob to about people they they uh, a lot of them speak well of too because they know that's what that's what you what they're just kissing each other they're they're sisters do they have haitian food if there's a haitian person here then i guess but not a restaurant or anything that i that i would know of no mom what over um when L is the ramadan convenient Convenient. Mama. I'm talking to my friends. What? Um, when, when I put Callie over, mm -hmm. then LA was sucking, then LA was sucking Callie's uh, pee thing to pee and poop. Oh, her thing to pee and poop. Okay. Tell her to get down so she don't keep climbing on you, babe. Ooh, no, no. Take them over there. No, 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 baby. Just run. They'll follow you. Okay. I'll but, um, that. let's see. What is someone? Simone Labic. Yeah, Simone Labic. Okay. No. That's how I answer it. Simone Lanik. Sarah, that's my um that's my big sister. How is the weather? Right now it feels like LA. It's kind of um a gloomy, gloomy sunny. It's not too hot. Um I think I think the most it gets oh there's a mosquito bite right there. It's the eighties. Let me cover myself up. Uh that's the bad part about Senegal. The mosquitoes. That's the worst thing for me. I'm, I'm blood type O, I'm a foreigner, they attack me, and it's crazy. They will search me out, and it's, uh, so everything I do is kind of, depending on the seasons, is uh, uh, guided, uh, kind of controlled by the environment in the mosquito situation. Even at um, certain family members' houses, like, I might stay in the room a little longer because I don't want to come out and there's mosqu mosquitoes. Cause can you stop that, please? Okay. Thank you. You know you look cute. That's what you are acting all crazy. Um, but in the country, it's hot. Nobody. Yes. Yeah, being by the water, it does cool it down a little bit, but it's still... Simone is still hot um, during the middle of the day. So sometimes you don't even want to go out and walk anywhere. At least I don't. Um, even though I need to walk in school for my health. So they use me in the French word without paying attention. Yeah. I heard it could get cold there. Dakar, it can get cold. Dakar, I've been cold and at night. And... Um, uh, yeah, it can be really cold because the way Dakar is, is uh, surrounded by water, I think. Most of it is surrounded by water like this, and, except for one side. So, um, I don't know what that's called, but I forgot, peninsula? I don't know, but uh, it's surrounded by water, so yeah, it can get really cold in Dakar. Like, well, really cold for here is 60, 60-something 60 at night, 70-something in the day because the wind is blowing, so it's kind of like... Being at the beach. What are you doing? She's so excited with these dogs. It's so cute. Um, what else did somebody say? Or you are able to fit in. Or you are able to fit in where? Or what? Did I miss something? The number one benefit is healthy child who is and can be free and grow in an environment where she's not taught to be a consumer. If I was a young child, I would not have left. If I was raising a yeah, young child, I would not have left. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. I, uh, I definitely did this for her and myself. Um, more than my husband. Yeah. Uh, he didn't need it, but, but we did. She definitely did. And 
there's certain Holly. things that go on back where I'm from Hi. that I don't want her to be exposed to at all. I don't want her to know. I mean, she's going to know what reality is. Stop shaking the thing. Please, you're shaking it. I was just going to hold it. Do you want to get in trouble on the live? No. I don't think so. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, somebody just mentioned me. Hey, can you, can you, can you not do this? Go take the dog and put them in the thing, so they won't bother you. Take take Callie and put her in the in the crate. Oh, just put one of them in the cage and leave the other one out. Then they won't be all hyper and jumping around. Okay. Whichever one you want to put. Mom, take your, take Callie. She's smaller. Just pick her up and take her. Oh, okay, fine. And you like to pick her up anyway, like she's a baby. She's she's running. She's right here. She's running from you. Um. Yeah, Miss. Uh, what Chris or CRS? Right now, Dakar. Are you in Dakar right now? Um, night shift. CRS night shift. Mm. Oh no, no licking, no licking. No licking. Yeah. I'm trying to catch up on stuff. Makes me good. I don't know if I answered everyone's question about or what's good and good and bad. Did I finish answering that? Or you can ask me another question. Um what's good and bad? Bad. I don't even want to say that. I mean, in some areas, well, I guess like how people burn trash and the trash, it's okay to burn trash, but because there's a lot of um, plastics and stuff that probably came from the West and now, you know, they've adopted here, you know, the way of dispo the traditional way of hey the traditional way of disposing trash doesn't work for certain things so whenever trash is being burned as plastic um you know that's not good it has a smell it's not you know pleasant and it's not good for, you know the environment so um, so that's a thing that can be improved and i think I think what hopefully what I'm hoping for is what my dream is that you know people from the states and UK stop from all over. You had her. Why'd you take her out? Um, that they'll move to different countries throughout the continent and have a positive influence in, in that. You know, the things that we appreciate that, that maybe people take for granted because the resources here are endless. Uh, you know, that um, just by just by seeing people excited about coconuts and mangoes and stuff, that people will start to value those things more so that, you know, you keep that kind of uh, tradition going and just... Um, empower more people to to, to um, you know go into farming and different things and food processing and stuff instead of the exporting and importing that happens that depletes depletes uh, the, the continent fiscally but uh, I think that I think that um, another positive thing for us is the freedom like I fear going back to where I'm from not because I think something might happen to me you know something can happen to me here you know anything can happen anywhere at any given time but I just feel like after being free for for however long that I won't know how to go back to being unfree. And when I say free, like when you're there, you feel like you're free until you're out of there. Oh yes, open the door. Yes. It's okay, just open the door, please. 
I don't think it's locked. Just open the thing. Mingo. Open the thing for him, please. The thing. There you go. Habla. But, um, anyway. That's our security guy. Um, it's hard to explain what being free is like compared to not being free until you experience both, but I would equate it to, you know, someone being <laughs> enslaved and moving to the north and then having to go back and act a certain way, like, I think there's ways that we, there's things that we do to survive that we don't really realize that that's infringing on our freedom. Like people talking about, you know, I tell my kid to do this and dress like this so he won't get profiled and this and this and that. Like that's infringing on your freedom. You're not free to just do because it's not safe. So I think that um, I would be be afraid to go back and not know how to act you know what I mean like I am used to doing what I want for the most part at least I'm, I feel like that I'm used to going where I want without being like oh this area has a lot of them and has a, you know things happen at certain times of the night I can't go get gas by myself I have to send my I husband did, to do it. like certain things like that you're like you're not free it's a it's a it's a dangerous place mm -hmm. and uh, and it can be very violent. Who's that? Oh, Shayna. Hey, girl. Let's see. How are you doing? Oh, Marcel. I'm good. How are you, uh, Nathan? I'm moving with you all. <laughs> okay, come on through. When will you be coming back to the Gambia? I just left. I was just there like uh, earlier this week. Um, I don't know when I'm coming back. Probably when I have somebody else in town who wants to go. Um, but uh, but I'm not in a rush. I've, I've gone twice this year already. So so I'm probably gonna sit tight for a while. Maybe after the house is done and maybe somebody comes to visit later. Maybe towards the end of the year, I don't know. But if I do go, I definitely wanna stay longer. Like I'm, I'm trying to get my friends to actually come here. So, That'll be the next thing. If my friends from Gambia come here, we hang out, I show them around, and then it'll be my turn to go back. Because I went twice already, so they, they owe me. Can you? I can't see my phone. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I too. Yeah, but it's not for you. When we be? Okay, I read that one. Bye, Suno Khalibi. Yeah. Is it hard to start a business there for a diaspora and African? That is a very, very good question. Uh, and I would say it can be or it cannot be. Um, and the ways that it can be is that if you try to do it by yourself. Um, I've seen and heard people bump their heads so many times because they're trying to do business with African people from a westernized perspective and a westernized, you know, mentality and independently and not, you know, and people, you know, people want to do things on their own. It gives them a sense of pride and everything, but this is a collective society and people go off references, uh, who knows you, you know, so if nobody knows you, you don't exist, you know, so, um, you know, you have to connect with people. You have to. Everywhere. Your neighbors. You have to speak to them. Talk to them. And not necessarily invite them to your house to eat, but if they're having tea, go sit with them in the street and drink tea with them. If, uh, you know, somebody needs a, a what is it called? A, um, a jump on their car. Whatever. Things like that. Um, you know, you can't just be one track mind, like narrow mind, just like you, all about you. Uh, so, you know, I know, I know there are, um, I feel like there are a lot more women repats than male, at least here, maybe other places are different. 
Uh, and so I know, or maybe they're not even repats. Maybe they're just people who were working here or doing their business and they just happen to be here for the time being. But I've heard frustrations of people that try to do things on their own and, you know, or more on their own than, than maybe they should, uh, than what's beneficial to them. And, uh, and they get frustrated because, you know, they're a woman and there's all these men and who's, you know, people trying to help me. I want to do it myself. I don't trust anybody. They're going to take advantage of me and like a lot of stuff like that. And so there is a method to, to, to uh, networking uh, that, that is different than where we're from. Can you get off of me, please? Huh? Can I like be free? Thank you. Um, let's see. Hi, sister. Lamin. Lamin Sanyang. How you doing? How are you? Um, let me move. The, the mosquitoes are biting my feet, please. Stop. Put her away. She's jumping on you. Put her away. Oh, I got bit again. I think I got bit again. Anyway, so I'll be here for a little while longer because I think the mosquitoes are biting my feet. Let's see. But starting a business, I think what makes starting a business easier, let me finish that thought, is that you can start a business in your house. You can start a business on the street. There's not all these regulations. Like, people don't really enforce the Eurocentric. I mean, even if they have laws on paper that say what you can do, what you can't do. I mean, people aren't really into that. They just follow the traditional, like, everything's pretty much, like, you could just go to the mayor of your town and be like, I want to use some land for this. Do you have any like, spare land that I can use for whatever business? And they could just, you know. So it's um like I I hope to and plan to uh, do several businesses. Um, I'm I have um, I'm working on getting my uh, business my commercial license. Um, my husband already has his, and so I'm trying to get one for me so I can you know feel like I'm doing stuff on my own, have my little stuff. And um, and it could be as simple as investing in a business that already exists and then you get your cut. Like, it, it's, it just depends on what type of business and, and what you think, uh, what you, how you move as far as if you uh, intermingle with people, local people and, and uh, and use their their assistance. Let's see. I met you a few times through your family in Gambia. Joloff boy. Oh, really? New subscriber here. Hey, welcome to the village. Um, oh, her hair is cute. Thank you. She knows it. She cried for two hours straight. I think she was sleepy, but after it was done, she's like, oh, I'm cute. Um, Jolof boy, uh, we met in Gambia, huh? I wonder where we met at. Was it at a restaurant or something? Hmm. Do they have pigs there? I haven't seen none there. Yes, they're pigs. I saw a pig yesterday. <laughs> a really big fat one. Um, you will see pigs in areas where, uh, Non non Muslim people live. Um, Chess, I think, has pigs running around uh, here. Um, a little more inland in, in Bur. I saw pigs uh, just yesterday, like a big fat one crossing the road in the area where we're actually um, building our house. So, yeah, there's pigs. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, pigs, that's what you were asking, right? The animal pigs, not the. <laughs> uh, let me stop. Of course, they have. Is there an investment consultation firm that I could reach out to? I don't know of any, but there might be. Um, that that's possible, but I I I doubt that that would be necessary. Uh, um. Actually, take that back. You could reach out. You could probably reach out to um, RJ, RJ Mahadi. I don't know if you follow him. He's in Senegal here. He's from, uh, I guess, Atlanta. Um, 
and uh, and they do that. They do do that. I take that back. I do know. Yeah. So you can. He has a YouTube channel as well as Instagram. And uh, if you if you Google Exodus Alliance, Exodus Alliance, he uh, his he and his wife and uh, a partner they um, they do guide people as far as um, investing in business here and here in Senegal. So that's an option. Hey, just put one in the cage. Close it. So they can chill out. You guys will go to Casa Mons with us. Oh, we will? Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's um, where I'm trying to go next. Um, we wanted to go to Gambia and Casa Mons when Brian was here. But, uh, but it time didn't permit it was just too much to do and we would be tired and slow down and stuff so um oh so you're getting a house in Casamas you didn't tell me he was coming back okay that's a uh, Sira Nef Nefertari um, cool there's a lot of opportunity out there yes there is there definitely is um yeah i met you at soul food restaurant oh upstairs oh that one the the uh, oh the old um spot okay when i was in oh nima okay nima dear upstairs cool but i'm back in babylon oh okay small world all right nice how long have I been on here? An hour. Hour. Mm -hmm. Let me see. My battery on my phone looks right. like. Okay. So, do you guys still want to hang out, or, or everybody got stuff to do? It's Mother's Day over there. Uh, well, most of you are. I think maybe half the people watching are probably in the U.S. No, 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 but I can go. If you want me to go, or I can stay. If you want me to stay, just let me know. I didn't really have topics to talk about specifically. Sometimes I think of topics and I'm like, well, I'll just talk about what you guys want to talk about. But everything's cool over here. Yes, we will meet one day. Thank you for the happy Mother's Day wish. I didn't realize it was Mother's Day uh, in the U.S. until the day before, uh, what's today? Yeah, two days ago. Uh, so I said, oh man, I gotta make sure I call my mom and send her something. Mm-hmm. You're so pretty. You're so smart. You wanna speak Spanish for the people? Mm, tomorrow. Tomorrow? How do you say tomorrow in Spanish? Um. You forgot. Um, no, I don't forgot because I don't know it. Mañana. Mañana. Mm, oh, you didn't know that one. Okay. That's fair. No fair. Did it, Jeff? No, I said it's okay that you don't know it. Because I never taught it to you. So that's fine. No, I said no fair. No fair? Okay. No, not, not, not that no fair. How do you say, it's how do you... How do you say, how are you in Spanish? Look, it's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? What are you talking about? Not that nine o'clock. This nine o'clock. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you, want, you want to show them how you play rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, you want to do it here. Ready? <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I didn't teach her this. And she learned it over here from watching TV. <laughs> uh, you learned it on your tablet? Rock, paper, scissors. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. One question, why don't the local women ever come? Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Me, come me out? Rock, come, oh, come scissors. out. The local women are out. It just depends on where. Yeah. I mean, but... Uh, some people don't come out because it's hot and they don't want to be in the sun. Um, some people don't come out uh, because they're 
home with their kids or they're at work um, or they don't walk places, they take taxis and stuff. Um, and the manual labor is, 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 is mostly men. Like, so Rock, paper, scissors. In Gambia, I saw a lot of women cops. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. A lot of women cops there, but here I don't see a lot. There's some, but there's not a lot. So most of the jobs that women work in are indoors or under some shade, like in the marketplaces, and they're selling stuff. They're not doing, they're not building buildings and, you know, carrying, driving the horse and buggy thing and the chariot and the. So everywhere you go, you see men, like at the auto parts place and the... Mom, rock, paper, scissors. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm answering their question. Ready? Like, the, like there's um these women that have meetings right outside my house, like maybe every week. I think they're doing their susu. susu. So you see like 20 women there, or you'll see women at a party, like a wedding or something, all dressed up, hanging out. So you see women... They're just in different areas than the men a lot of times because of the environment, like the dust in the air. A lot of times if it's windy, they won't be outside or, you know, mess up their hair or they don't want to get sunburned and, or, you know, be too dark or something like that. You know, there's people like that. Um, so it could be different reasons. Um, okay, you ready to play rock, paper, scissors so I can answer the question? Ready? I can't hold you and play rock, paper, scissors, though. Ready? Ready. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You beat me. Whoa! Okay, you won. It's over now. Ah! <laughs> um, to come and go. No, I should be there in for a few months. Okay, definitely. Um, Let me know when you come. Sarah, she's, she's so sweet. She sent me a care package. With all this mosquito stuff, some citronella oil sprays, and um, I think it had neem oil in it, I don't remember. But anyway, and some those um, incense, like mosquito incense. I guess I was talking about the mosquitoes so much. <laughs> she felt sorry for me. And then she sent some um, some um, homework for my baby uh, to someone, and they just brought it. They just uh, called us and drove up and brought it to us. So that was really sweet. Um, let's see, to come and go, uh, okay, what type of entertainment is there? Entertainment, there are clubs everywhere, um, nightclubs, concerts, open air, you know, concerts, restaurants, uh, sports, like wrestling, wrestle matches, um, wrestling matches, um, jazz concerts, salsa clubs, reggae clubs. Um, most most of the clubs play all kinds of music, but there's some like that are specific. Kazumba dance classes. There's I don't know what a lot of people consider entertainment. I mean, there's a uh, everything was kind of chill, but the curfew and then the curfew stopped like two months ago or something like that. So, uh, and then it's Ramadan now. So after Ramadan's over, probably by next week or so, things will kick back up um, everywhere. Uh, there's the beach. There's, uh, you can go kayaking, fishing. I mean, there's activities you can do. Entertainment, I guess entertainment is more like just watching something. So yeah, there's, sports and concerts and stuff like that um there's yeah there's um pool like uh what do you call it there's bars on the beach like pool or beach bars i guess you call them um it just depends there's a lot of places to go dancing lots of places there's restaurants where they have concerts and live music things like that just depends on what area you're in. Dakar has most of the stuff. And here too, because uh, here's a tourist area. Uh, but you can do that pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm getting um happy Mother's Day text. Mm.
anyway, if there's nothing else, then I can go. I have to watch. Uh, I am so upset at myself. I keep missing the verses because I go to sleep. And last night we, we took when we took Brian to the airport, we actually were back late, and I was up till midnight. And I think it was one in the morning when it came on the SW SWV and uh, I'm looking at these words SWV and um what's it call it? What was it? SWV and not total. SWV and uh, I forget. Uh, I forget who it was, but anyway, SWV had a versus with. Oh, why can't I? I know it's not in vogue. I know it's not total. Anyway, I'm drawing a blank, but I missed the verses, so I have to watch it now. I'm gonna put it on my projector in my house and watch it get the whole escape. Thank you. I was like, ah. Anyway, uh, so I'm put on projector and watch it get the whole ambiance going in the house. I like to watch them live and you know see the people commenting, especially the celebrities commenting and stuff. Um, I've watched maybe half of them, um, which helps for my nostalgia, missing home and stuff, even though I'd be dancing by myself. My baby dances with me, so that helps. Um, but um, you should try as much as possible to connect your fellow AA single women to their African kings. Me? I don't know what much help I could be. But, um, I mean, I, I tell people to be open-minded, but everybody's you know everybody's different it's a lot of people that come here that don't that aren't interested in that you know but um i i think that i mean i've tried that before with some people friends back home but i think that every relationship i don't want it to be my fault when it doesn't work out i think that everybody has oh it's a red bird oh my god i've been looking for these birds I don't know if I can take a picture of it. I be looking for these cool colored birds. This bird is straight up red. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is right there. Hold on. I'm, I'm just gonna try to get this on video right quick. Oh, look at this bird. I wish I would show you guys, but I don't want to scare it. It's like super duper red. Like, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's gone now. Oh, there it is. I'm still here. Just hold on one second. Okay. I think I got it on camera. Sorry about that. I'm a bird fanatic. And it was this bird, it's black. It's like maybe this size. And it has red all right here, but it's not like a little bit of red. It's like dark, dark, dark. Like, uh, you know when you dye your hair and you have to dye it blonde, to dye it a color. Like, you know how people have their hair like red and stuff? Like that red, like red, red, red. It's so cool. I hope it'll come out good in the thing. I don't know if I can show you guys from there, but every single time I see a bird, like I saw a turquoise bird the other day and I never have my phone. I never have my phone to take a picture. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yasin, come turn on the lights outside, please. I don't know if I can, let me see if I can see the bird and maybe show you a picture. It probably won't work. Yeah, it probably won't work, but just trust me, it was beautiful. Anyway, that's the bird making noise. I saw one bird with like a long bill. Looked like kind of like a toucan, but it was not the same color as a toucan, but that's that bird right there. Wow. There's these little birds and they have turquoise just like, or it'll be, it's a lot of yellow birds that are in my yard too. And they have nests in the trees here. I love it. And they sound so good. Like, you know how people listen to those, um, those nature sounds to so go to sleep and stuff. Like that's how it sounds in my yard. That's just so awesome to me. 
Okay, let me go back to see people's comments, what they were saying. Uh, you should try to hook people up. Matchmaker, yeah, that's hard to do. Yeah, it's definitely hard to do. I've tried, even with my homeboy who was just here, I've tried like three times. I'm done. It's not my job. I'm just gonna let it happen natural. It happened natural for me. I mean, like you can't really force people to, I just support them. So if they are already in a situation, I will, you know, give them encouragement. But that's about it. Cause uh, you never know, Pe people are different. Uh, and where we come from, people don't trust people and they think people want to take advantage of them. Yes. Yes. She must be on her tablet. Anyway, I guess on that note, I'll go. It's about an hour and 30 minutes. Anyway, I hope um, everybody has a good rest of their day today or evening. I'm going to watch Escape and SWV and have a little party. It's about seven, it's seven o'clock. Um, maybe call my mom. I'm sure she would like that. Because I couldn't call her early. It was too early, so I had to send her a video. But I'll call her and yeah, just enjoy the rest of my day. And then we gotta celebrate the end of uh, Ramadan with family. So that's gonna be my my week. I'll try to take a picture of my dress and my whole get up um, and put it on my Instagram so you guys can see. But yeah, life is uh. Life is good. Um, Sometimes I have to pinch myself, to be honest. I, it feels like a dream. It feels too good to be true at times. Things are working out and I've been so blessed. And uh, I just thank God that I had this option, that I had this, this um, way to get out because the nine to five and corporate world and living where we were living and it just wasn't it and i mean i even forgot about the coronavirus like i didn't i didn't remember until brian came and we had to take his COVID test to go back and i'm like oh yeah i forgot about that like so i'm i'm really fortunate god has been really good and you know i've been married for since 2010 that's it's going on 11 years now, and that's going good. I mean, it's not easy, but it's good. And, you know, I'm glad that we were able to do this and uh, and bring my daughter and have my dogs. Like, I'm, you know, you only live once. I'm just going to make the most of this. I'm going to have as many pets as I want, as many businesses as I want or don't want or, you know, like, you, it's what you make it. And even more so here than, than back in the West. Like life is what you make. You wake up when you want to wake up. You do what you want to do. Like there's people who don't have job jobs here and they're fine. Like they get their little money, whatever standard of living that they want. They work, they do a little, you know, side hustle and then they take a break whenever they want. They travel whenever they want. They, they may have a farm, have people work on it and just be free. Like. I really love the entrepreneurship. Like it's kind of a scary thing in the West because they make you feel like you can't do it and you can't compete with whatever. But here you can have acres and acres of land or you can have a small farm or, and you can live and you can be fine. Like everybody, nobody's really competing with people or you have to have this, you have to have a washing machine and a refrigerator and a dryer and a this. Like if you want to cook on some coals and fire, you could do that. and still have your swimming pool or whatever you know you just do what you just everybody just does what they want and that's what i like there's no like standard of living you know like our neighbors where we're supposed to be where we're building some of our neighbors have two room houses and a yard and they got chickens and stuff but they're happy like that and then somebody can have a five bedroom house ten bedroom house even and be cool like it's everybody just does what they do so there's no pressure from the society or the movies or whatever. I don't know how in the West they get us to feel like we have to have a certain way of life. Two kids and a dog and whatever, you know, go to Disneyland every year, like this, have your nine to five and your insurance. And your, like everybody just, and it just makes for a, a, a more stress-free life in my opinion. So 
anyway, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I don't think I see any more messages, so. In Living Color theme song. You can do what you want to do. <laughs> In Living Color. All right. So, with that, In Living Color, I'll, I'll, I'll sing the In Living Color song if you want me to. You can do what you want to do. That's for you. Nathan goes in the color. All right. I'll see you guys later. I love every single one of you. Um, you know, hopefully if if my videos help you, that's all I'm here to do. Um, if you guys <laughs> he's laughing at me. Uh and uh, you know, I just like to share my experience because people share their experience and it helped me a lot to get over the fears of doing what we're doing. So and I'm glad I did it. So anyway. Hope y'all come to Senegal and visit. You can do what you want to do. I'll see y'all later. Mosquitoes are getting me. Okay. Black people, we the dopest, we the realest, we the flyest, we the best, we the baddest. I love y'all so much. Peace out. I'll turn this thing off. I'll, uh, we'll see. We're going to find out now. <laughs>